the JAMA Network. Jodell Kaiser tried to quit smoking once and failed. She tried a second time, was successful for two years, but stress caused her to start again. I really punished myself when I started smoking again. I was so disappointed. But, you know, people sometimes do that, and they have to get up, brush themselves off, and, and go again. After attending the inpatient program at the Mayo Clinic and using the smoking cessation medication Varenicline, she says her third attempt is working. So you didn't lose confidence, you didn't lose faith that you could do it? No, I knew I could. Varenicline has already been shown to help smokers who were ready to choose a quit date and then abruptly stop smoking. We were interested in doing a larger trial with Varenicline, including a longer duration of therapy. Dr. John Ebert from the Mayo Clinic and co-authors studied a group of smokers willing to reduce the number of cigarettes they smoked with the intention of making a quit attempt within three months. Half the smokers took daily varenicline, and the other half received a placebo, both for six months. The proportion of patients who quit smoking was measured at six and 12 months. Participants receiving varenicline were over four times more likely to be abstinent from smoking at six months and were over two times more likely to be abstinent from smoking at 12 months compared to placebo. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We found no differences between the two groups with respect to severe or serious adverse events. Our study would suggest that it can help this population of patients quit smoking long term. Joe Dell says her overall health has improved, including her breathing and sleeping. Do I have cravings once in a while? Yes, I do. But the important thing is, I'm a non-smoker. And I'm very happy with myself. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.